Just got back from a short walk around the block. Um, today it's about 29 degrees with the wind chill. I think it feels a little bit cooler. It's pretty um, cloudy outside. Um, you know, so it doesn't feel too bad, but the wind chills a little bit. Um, so today I just felt like doing a little bit different, I guess, um, being a little bit cozy, but I have just, you know, my a long sleeve shirt on here. There's another shirt underneath it, the vest, and I decided to put a skirt and my boots and, um, I believe a little bit of skin still showing, or a little bit of skin exposure. And then I went around the block, is maybe 10 minutes. I'm going to go on a longer one later, but, um, I just kind of felt like doing something a little bit different, a little bit uh, cozy in a different way. Um, I've certainly never gone out with a skirt and, um, the high boots and like the legs and the thighs showing. So that was a first, um, couldn't do squats in it. Yeah. Dobre dien. I'm here at the park and it is about 30 degrees out. Anywhere between 21 and 31. I oh, know I'm sorry, 29 and 31 according to my car thermometer. I have been out doing errands all day and not using the heater in my car and feeling so vigorated and warm and good and energized and adaptable or adapted I guess you could say um, and so I was really excited to come out to the park but here I am out on the lake uh, the path then is right there and boop, there's sushi and um, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today what I chose to wear so here I have my vest and actually I could even just open up the vest because it's actually I feel pretty warm so I have this shirt the shirt is very light it's um it's like a just a very light linen like there's nothing underneath this um it is just very light and breezy and it doesn't stick to my skin it lets a lot of the cool air come through I can feel the breeze through it it just keeps my skin away from the direct uh the direct air itself and then I'm wearing uh these like tie pants and the tie pants you can kind of see right through them they're just the really thin linen x is like a little bit of a layer for some of that heat to stay in but not much and so far this has like been my favorite kind of outfit it feels really flowing and nice it feels good i feel good in it um i am also wearing my mukluks i thought i wanted to do that because there's this kind of like this wintry like feeling that I was that I'm <laughs> that I'm feeling and this is just kind of like a look that I had in my head and this image that I had in my head this way I was feeling this is really just what matched it so I was kind of like picking out what I wanted to wear today this is uh what matched it and so the boots are not necessarily for warmth um it's 30 degrees out you know they're uh it's just kind of like the style, the feel that I was going for, this kind of like flowy through the through the woods kind of thing. What I'm experiencing right now is really cool because it is this complete relaxing, I'm okay, I'm enjoying being in this type of wear in this weather. And I know it's pretty warm, but this is not something that I could have imagined a couple years ago. This is my idea that something that's sticking in my head is from this book, The Fountain of Youth. Uh, they talk about the five rites. And in the second one, there's different explorers that they talk about uh, certain breath work that this girl does. And she says in the mountains of or in the Himalayas then where they are, uh, after practicing this breath work, she feels good enough to walk around in nothing but like this light frock. And that's where I kind of got that phrase from and this is what I imagined her to be walking around in just like all day one of the cool things that I'm noticing hi Zoosh is that the adaptability the time that it takes me to adapt so when I'm inside and then I go outside there is maybe like a 10 to 15 minute window that I'm walking around when I really feel after that I start to really feel like adapted to the climate that I'm in. And so that's kind of what happens when I'm on the, in the car as well. It takes maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe not even, you know, depending um, how, how much I've been in and out to start to feel like I'm wearing a coat or like it just isn't bothering me. Oh, and Zush wants to play. You want to play Zush? Yeah. 
<gasps> Let's keep going. Come on, girl. And this is what I'm considering to be this natural... Ow, that was a sharp stick. She just hit me in the leg with it. It's what I'm considering to be this kind of natural flow of being able to exist in this climate. Thank you, I have exactly what I want because this is what's here. And I want to feel everything that's here because love is all, love is everything. And ultimately I want the balanced container that is love. <sighs> okay. Okay, so this is where I am. I am feeling pretty good today, so I'm gonna extend the walk. I'm gonna show you on the map what I'm doing here. Started up here at parking one. I walk down this little path. Doo, 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 doo. So here we are at point seven miles. So then we go to two. Go on along here. So we're at one point one miles. Doo, 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 doo. Right now we're at this place right here. So I'm gonna do the extended portion, which is gonna go like this. It's point two seven miles towards seventeen. Then towards eighteen. So I'm gonna take this right here. That's point two two miles up to fifteen. Another point two one miles. Bloop 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 bloop. 15 to 12, 12 to nine, and then like this. And then going all the way back around, so another 0.72 miles, like this, blah, 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 to four, back down here, 0.13, and then back up to the car, which I see it's one of these two. I don't actually think it's here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's the map. This is kind of, this is the big lake. This is typically, I just go around this one. If I'm just going to do like the normal one. Um, but I wanted to get that out there so that people were, uh, had a reference of how, of what I was doing and how far I'm going on these walks. I'm on this really cute little bridge here at the extended part of the trail and I just wanted to film on this little bridge because it's just really beautiful and so cute and I really, really love these cloudy days. Um, a couple of days ago when it first was cloudy like this, it was even more beautiful because the trees, the tops of the trees were all white. And that has lessened now, but it's still just beautiful out. This is my typical stopping point where I just kind of sit and chill out. Not too much longer before the end. And now I'm feeling inspired to pump out a few squats. So let's go for 25. One, two. Three, 25. Oh. Ah. At 75 for the day. That walk was an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 12 minutes actually. Back at the car, and I'm inspired to do another 25 squats. What do you think, Zoosh? Another 25? Whip it out. You happy about that? Okay, here we go. One, 25. Ah, and up. And around. And yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah. All right, that makes 100 for today so far.